Stories videos like pannunga, share pannunga, subscribe pannunga and marandidaam bell button press pannunga. It's Sunday special and today we are going to cook uh, chicken chili and paneer chili. So it's going to be really interesting because we wanted to have something different and he's a non-vegetarian and I'm a vegetarian. So let's see how the chef cooks. Yeah, the best part of this you cook till the end and then you split it between the paneer and chicken so it is it's a one recipe you don't need to you know do two times separately um it's it'll be it'll, it'll be pretty simple and straightforward okay so what do we do now okay so first thing we are going to put some oil so keep your pan um really hot as much it is the fully hot and then you can so what are things i have um i have a uh, green chili cut it and chopped it into small pieces and then i have a uh, garlic and um ginger i have taken a lot of portion because it's good for health but if you want to keep a very little amount then you can make it and then i have take some white onions and then some little bit of pink onion so it will be very colorful and then i have taken all kind of peppers uh, i have taken uh green uh red and yellow peppers and and then i have some um spring onions and then i have the paneer here and then i have the chicken so how i'm going to make it let's see it i, I like the way you you know uh, chop the the vegetables it's like square diced so i think yeah, it every, will give you every food will have their own flavor uh, yeah. you know taste Um, what we have to do is marinate the chicken. I have added um, uh, chicken. I have cut into small cubes, and same way paneer. I have cut into small uh, pieces, and uh, I have added some ginger garlic paste and some chili powder on both the plate, on the both, on both things. Now again, it is optional for you to add these two things. You can just add some salt and corn flour, but I love to add the flavor of ginger garlic and the spice of the chicken. when you're eating uh, when you're eating the chili chicken so a uh, little bit of corn flour and then mix it the only one thing you have to make sure when you're doing it together don't use the same spoon to mix it so we have to be pretty careful so immediately when i'm doing it i'll keep a separate spoon on the veg and the separate spoon for non veg so that it never get mixed up this is really very important for me that it should be mixed together <laughs> So I have heated the oil here. So it is optional for you to uh, fry the paneer. Uh, if you want, you can add it, uh, fry the paneer completely, or else you can uh, skip that part. You can add the paneer at the very end, and it will be still soft. But if you still like to have a very crunchy thing, then you like you need to uh, fry the paneer. But I am going to fry only the chicken now. So let's um, let's fry the chicken. So small, small pieces. I've cut it, and I'm going to. Just put it inside the oil. It's heated for the uh, oil is heated now. I'm going to put the chicken for frying. So I have used less corn flour, which if you want you can use a lot of corn flour. And I prefer it to be very light, so it's so it will be not you know you won't feel that much of heavy when you eat your food. So do we need to leave the marination for some time or we can just yeah, immediately make it and 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes you just leave it for a while that will okay. be more fine enough or um yeah, yeah so maybe that will get mixed with the chicken and the paneer or the marination yeah, together yeah. and then then fry it yeah and frying okay. you can't don't fry it fully just fry it only um it should be just cooked Uh, like 60 to 80 percent it should be cooked because anyway you are going to toss it and when the heat it will be still cooked. So if you fry it fully, what will happen? It will be very, uh, it will, it will be very thick and it will be very hard to eat. So make sure that you fry it only for a right amount of time. This chicken is almost done and fried, so you can see uh, it is fully cooked. and it is ready to eat the main thing is you have to make sure that it is not overcooked so only if it is like 6 to 8 percent cooked then you can see the juice inside the the chicken so this is done everything is fried uh, now all we need to do is um, mix everything mix a mix the sauce and mix it together and then make it 
Now for veg, when we are making it, so we have not done anything for the veg paneer. Um, for the paneer, what we are going to do is we are just going to keep a pan. We can do it similarly at the same time. You don't need to do it separately. So I'm just going to keep a pan and heat the pan. So once the pan is heated and put some oil and then add some uh, add the paneer which you marinated for 10 minutes. Add that and uh, while it's cooking, we can prepare the sauce on the other side. So in another side, I'm going to add. Heat the pan again and and fully high heat and then uh, put some oil on it. You can add the oil on both in this and in this pan as well, means so that you can fry the paneer. Meanwhile, while it is cooking, because so you could have done the paneer uh, fried as it is the way it is, but um, Jodi doesn't like uh, the very fully crispy one, so she likes a little bit soft. So this is the way it will be very soft and it will be a little bit crispy as well, soft as well. So let's wait for a minute and then once it is heated, then we can start the next one. So this is almost ready. So I will just tell you what all sauces we need for to make the chili chicken. So we need some bit of uh, ketchup and then we, can have, uh, we need the, some bit of soya sauce and some um, hot and sour sauce if you don't have it you can skip it um, that will be good enough and some chili paste and some salt and ajinomoto but I if you don't want to use um, ajinomoto you can skip this and you can add the pink salt because pink salt also will give the same kind of same flavor I am going to put the paneer in and fry it just toss it not a full deep fry so you can toss it and meanwhile, I can make the sauce now completely here. So I have everything ready. I've showed the sauce and everything. So first thing, um, make sure the hot oil is fully hot. So first, add the ginger and garlic. So I'm going to add the ginger and garlic and keep chopping it completely. And don't again, don't cook for a long time. So once you can cook for a long time, the freshness will go off. The best part of the chili chicken, the freshness has to be there in all the food. It's not that one, if you, one is burnt, the other way, the taste of that will be completely spoiled. And meanwhile, just till this also, small gift, stir fry, that will be fine. So this is cooking slowly. And now I can add the green chilies. Now it's going to be all quick. Yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty straightforward and fast. So I've ordered the green chili, means I have put the green chili, not ordered the green chili. <laughs> so that is done and I'm going to add the onion as well. Now again, onion, um, just toss it for a, less than a minute. Don't overcook one because when you eat, the crunchiness of the onion has to be there. So if you overheat or overcook, so now the onion is also done, so it has to be, don't overcook, and now you can add the peppers. Now still I'm making as veg and non-veg, but you know, I'm, I'm going to split it out separately, but I'm going to make the sauce and everything. Again, this, you can leave it a little bit uh, crunchy, so it means leave it a little bit cooked, just only for a, less than a minute, and it will be cooked and crunchy and stuff. And all the peppers and everything is ready, so now we can start making it. So I would normally just spread a little bit oil extra in that and add the chili paste. Now if you don't need to add much of oil, you can split this. Um, I'm going to add the chili paste first. Now if you don't, uh, I will have the ready-made chili paste, you can make it in your home as well. So this is garlic and chili paste kind of. So just to try for 30 seconds. So the smell goes, the freshness, the raw smell goes off and then start mixing it. Now you can add all the sauces, so add some ketchup. Okay. And it started coming. So little bit ketchup. Uh, you can add the chili flakes. The chili flakes, if you want more spice, you can add this or you can skip this completely optional. Um, and then add some uh, soy sauce. Add some 
vinegar. Now all those things you have to add be very quick and add some uh, hot and salt sauce. If you don't need it, you can still skip those out completely. And uh, now toss your gravy. It's almost done. Mmm, it smells good. So now you can add your salt. So this is almost done. Now it is right time for you to split it out. Now, if you want little bit water, I can like little bit um, as a water. You can add more water, but I just sprinkle water a little bit. Sprinkle the water a little bit, and then it is almost done. Now again, this is optional. I add little bit of ajinomoto, but if you don't want to add it, you can skip that and you can add some pink salt if you don't want to add ajinomoto on that. So pink salt also will be the same flavor. But yeah, we we have to be careful over here about the salt because we are putting pink salt. We added uh, ajinomoto as well, and soy sauce as well, so it shouldn't be too salty. So okay, yeah, so just this put is the done. The preparation of this is completely done. Now it is time for us to split it. So, how much of amount of uh, you know vegetables you want to add in paneer, you can add that accordingly. So, I am um, going to lift a little bit from here, and I'm going to move it to paneer, and this the rest is going to be for chicken. So, here I have the paneer. So, for paneer, it is everything is ready. So, now it will you know the sauce will mix well together with. The paneer, and meanwhile, I'm going to add the chicken in here. Now, if you feel the sauces are less or anything, you can still go ahead and add it up. I feel the color is little bit. You can add some more sauce if you feel like. Okay, so this both is almost done. So you can taste this in a taste if you want to make it more spicy. Then you can add the chili flakes or anything, green chilies or extra if you want to add it. Now finally we have to add the spring onions. So I have the spring onions ready with me. So I'm just sprinkling the spring onions on top of both. Uh, the paneer and on the chicken. This is done. The smell is very really good. The paneer is completely. It is mixed up well with the sauce, and it is. Uh, it is not fully dried. It is. Uh, it is mixed. You can eat with the rice as well. So it is not full saucy kind of thing. Now chicken may be little bit hard. If you want to just sprinkle a little bit of water in it, um, you can do that. Otherwise, you can skip that completely optional to you. So, chili chicken is also ready. You can see the chili chicken; it is completely cooked and fully ready. Now let's. Take so it's the tasting time. So Jyoti is going to taste the paneer, and I'm going to eat the uh, chicken. But before that, I'll just show you the you know you can see all the vegetables, the colorful of it, all the yellow, green, and the onion has to be crispy, crispy, crispy. Then only it'll be more tasteful. This is something amazing. It's it's like. It's hot, but it's like you know you're having a restaurant style paneer chili, and I'm just loving this. I think I can empty the entire bowl. I love the chicken mm. as well. It's just amazing. Yeah. Please do try and make this in your house and let us know how it was. Like, share, and comment this video, and don't forget to subscribe. See you all.